Bold predictions for Week 13 in college football The USA Today Sports College Football Staff, Paul Meyerberg, Lindsay Schnell, George Schroeder, Eric Smith, Eddie Timonis and Dan Woken, weigh in with their expertise and offer up some bold predictions ahead of Week 13 of the college football season. Alabama doesn't just beat Auburn but rolls over the Tigers to end any debate over which team is not just the best in the SEC but the entire football bowl subdivision. If you think this isn't a bold pick then check out how Auburn is being picked to win by more media members than not. Why? I saw Auburn cream Georgia and left Jordan Hare impressed, but the Bulldogs and Tide are different animals. A Tide isn't an animal, but you know what I mean. Playoff Impact, Breaking Down the Biggest Games in Week 13 Conventional Wisdom says the ACC title game between Miami, Florida, and Clemson will essentially be a quarterfinal game that sends the winner into the college football playoff. For that to be true, both teams have to survive dangerous road trips this week. The Hurricanes travel to Pittsburgh, and the Tigers could have their hands full at rival South Carolina. The bigger opponent, however, might be themselves. Are they looking ahead to the game in Charlotte and not paying attention to the task in front of them? At least one of the two teams will be pushed into the fourth quarter. Don't be surprised if it is both. Nebraska has lost three in a row and five out of six, but the Huskers will finish the season, and Mike Riley's coaching tenure at the school, with a victory Friday against Iowa. Side note. That won't help Ohio State's case to reach the college football playoff as a two-loss Big Ten champion, afterward, Riley will announce he is stepping down. And then the Scott Frost watch will become official. Dan Woken We will all be riveted on Saturday when Clemson is trailing South Carolina in the fourth quarter, potentially throwing more chaos into the playoff mix. But in the end, the Tigers' defense will come up with a big turnover and Kelly Bryant will make a couple throws in the clutch to propel Clemson into the ACC title game. While I won't go as far as predicting a South Carolina upset, I do think this is a dangerous game for Clemson. The Gamecocks are a capable team, and Clemson has been a little bit susceptible to the deep pass. If South Carolina's offensive line can just hold up a little bit and give Jack Bentley some time, he will make plays. There's a lot of dislike right now in this series, between the fans, the players and even the coaches to an extent. And South Carolina, unlike the last couple years, will come in believing it can win. Clemson better be ready for a tough game and a tight fourth quarter finish if it wants to stay on track for the playoff. Rivalry games are weird, right? All that stuff about how you have to throw out the records is true. So with that in mind, even though Washington is a 10-point favorite, I'm going to pick Washington State and All-American candidate Luke Falk, the Pac-12's career passing leader, to win in Seattle, that hasn't happened since 2007. Stanford fans will have their attention divided Saturday night. Their own team will be taking on Notre Dame in a top-20 showdown with possible New Year's Six Bowl implications, and simultaneously the Cardinals' fate in the Pac-12 North will be determined elsewhere in the Apple Cup. The hunch here is Cardinal followers will be happy on all counts. Stanford will defend its home turf against the Fighting Irish, while up in Seattle Washington State will fall to the host Huskies and clear the way for a Cardinal rematch with Southern California next week. Next week.